Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining in. One of the intent of this channel is to also help you with the latest and greatest computing hacks, uh, which can help you be more productive uh, in your Windows environment. Uh, so today, uh, we're gonna take a look at the new browser from Microsoft. It's actually Microsoft Edge, but based on the Chromium rendering engine. So I don't know if you, can, if you have taken a look at it, but let's go ahead and do this together. All right, so let's go ahead and download the new browser and install it and let's see what's new in here. So you have to go to microsoftedgeinsider.com and you have various options uh, from here to download. Now it does give you an option to download the dev channel, but let's look at what are the other options available to us. So if you go to the download section at the top, it basically gives you uh, additional options uh, of various channels of, uh, of the, you know, how frequently the Edge browser, uh, this new Edge browser is gonna get released. And depending upon your role, depending upon what is your objective to use this new browser, you might wanna you know, choose any of that. Uh, for most of us, uh, you may wanna stick with uh, the beta channel because it'll be more stable. Uh, it is gonna come out very soon, but currently uh, the Edge Chromium is currently available for developers uh, who would like more frequent uh, updates so that and they want to test their applications and all you can try these channels so beta is coming soon in few in couple of weeks maybe uh, and this uh, channel is going to get updated every six weeks and we have dev channel which is going to get updated every week and then we have a canary channel which will probably get updated every day so you expect a new update to the, your browser every day so depending upon which is uh, the suitable option for you, you can go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the dev channel for now, but I'm perfectly okay having an update once in a week. So I'll go ahead and click download. All right, typical license agreement. So I'll go ahead and click accept and download. The download will begin shortly. So you can see here I have the download started. So let's go ahead and run it right away. And it's gonna take a while. All right, so there's a USC prompt. Let me go ahead and click yes. And the download wizard should start soon. All right, so there, there you go. So it's currently downloading. Uh, it's currently installing the insider, uh, the insider build of Chromium Edge. And it's gonna take a couple of more seconds and then we're good to go. All right, so it looks like the browser is installed and this is a new browser so you can see the look and feel is a little different than uh, the current Microsoft Edge so let's take a look at uh, you know, some of the settings over here so I'll go ahead and move it to my right hand side and I keep left uh, keep the old browser on the left let's look at the rendering engine so if I go to the settings menu of my previous browser that is the Microsoft Edge uh, and this is the Edge HTML engine that the current Edge is using and here's a new browser and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the settings. The setting page is a little different based on the Chromium standards. And if I go to the about Microsoft Edge, you'll see here that it is basically based on the Chromium open source rendering engine. So we can see the difference between, you know, the rendering engine of the older browser or I mean the current Microsoft Edge browser and the new browser that's gonna come out in a while. All right, so let's see what else we have in here. So I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and this into maximize mode all right so you so there's a better way of doing profile management in your browser so you can have now multiple profiles in your browser and then you can maybe you can maybe have a work profile or a personal profile and then uh, you know you can browse accordingly and synchronize your credentials synchronize your favorites and bookmarks and all those stuff um, uh, and you can also import your existing browser data from various browsers like Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer Firefox I don't have Chrome running here for some reason, uh, but you can basically uh, uh, import all your browser data from your other browser that you're currently using. Uh, and of course, how, the st you, how you want the startup, uh, how you want the appearance, uh, if you want the favorite bar, if you want the home button, uh, font size, if you want to change any of that, you can free to do that. On startup, how should the new browser should open up? If you sh should it open new tab page or should continue from very left off? or you, you want to open a specific page, uh, you can also configure that. Uh, there are some privacy settings, so you can enable or disable as per your privacy requirements. Uh, there's certain site permissions, you know, what uh, this particular browser has access to, and you can even control that as well, so that's a good sign. 
um, you can set up where your download folder is gonna gonna be if you want to add additional languages you can do that as well uh, some printing configurations and some system configuration with respect to what happens when the application when the browser when the browser is not running uh, you may still want to have your background apps running uh, this would be great for uh, the progressive web apps which we can talk about in the future videos and of course if you want to see set all the settings to defaults you can go ahead and do that so good uh, so great uh, you know uh, settings page to begin with all right so if, if, you, if I take you back to the Microsoft Edge Insider uh, Insider we, we can see some additional uh, options there so of course uh, let's see what's new so it has a uh, page which basically talks about what uh, what is new with this browser and you will see these page this particular page continue to get updated as and when Microsoft releases new capabilities to this new browser um, also uh, it basically points out the known issues that you might run into uh, uh, it's still in beta it's not even a beta it's currently in the developer channel so you expect a lot of issues to come out uh, the good thing is that uh, you have options to basically uh, get involved which means that you can raise those issues into Microsoft Insider community and then Microsoft engineers will take a look at it and will respond accordingly and you can also help the community in a similar fashion um, so we so yeah this is the community tab you can also get to see some recent blog posts from Microsoft with new updates uh, coming to the browser and some new capabilities coming in um, there are this is the add-on page where you can expect a lot of extensions to be written for Microsoft Edge for Chromium and uh, this is the current repository of Microsoft Edge extensions that is available on Windows Store uh, but expect a whole lot of uh, extensions to come out for Microsoft Edge for Chromium and of course uh, you also have support options so it looks great uh, I'm sure if you have any app compatibility issues with your previous Microsoft Edge or you know the current Microsoft Edge uh, and you have some applications that you think is not running properly on in there because of the Edge HTML rendering engine you might want to try the new Edge uh, based on Chromium and see how that works for you so go ahead and, and download this new browser for Microsoft Microsoft Edge for Chromium and uh, experience the web in, in this new browser and see how it works for you if you have any previous applications which were not compatible or were not really working properly with the new with the existing Microsoft Edge um, due to the Edge HTML rendering engine now you can try the Chromium engine which should solve some of those kind of problems so let me know what you think uh, in the comment section we'll have a chat there and stay tuned for some upcoming updates thank you so much and have a great rest of the day bye bye